Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to create a fresh um, development store on the Shopify partner. So far, uh, this is like the starting point and I assume you have watched 10 video in this playlist. If you already know how to use Shop uh, Shopify, how you can create a partner um, account and how you can create development store, you are good to go. But if you are not, please watch 10 video in this series. Because for the rest of it, I assume you already know how to navigate around Shopify partner. Now here we are in the development tab. From here we are going to create a store. Just click add a store. And here you have two options. Either you go manage store. Manage store is for the client. You send a request to them and they, they accept. You bring changes to their store. But we are going to create a development store. So let's give it a name. And the name could be anything as long as someone already is not like getting that name so uh, by that they are going to add this extension of that my shopify it will be always free to use but the front uh, page of your store will have a password no one can see it that is the limitation previously like one year ago you could disable the password use development store for yourself it had http it had the domain you could connect your custom domain and shopify realized a lot of people use it as a landing page and that's why they put the password you cannot disable the password which is not a good move but still i'm going to give it a um, name so could inspire so because this is already taken by someone i don't know but i can call it div this is also like reserved so i should find something that which is not reserved so i'm going to call it team yeah this one is not taken uh, this is going to be my domain, my email, and then let's enter a simple password. So I will use a basic password. Using this password, you can log in directly. So make sure you remember your password. And it does not match. Let me enter the password again. When I type in front of the camera, I don't know. It is a bit annoying. If someone is watching me, Typing something, it does the same thing. Now here is the option in here. Preview, developer preview. If you enable this one, there are some developer APIs which is available on the development store and you cannot transfer your store. Which, which means you can create a development store later in the future, you can transfer it to a client. But if you enable this option, you cannot transfer it to a client. So if you are building development store for the client, adding a product, theme and all sorts of this stuff, you should not check out like check this one but i will enable this one uh this is where you are going to search for like which uh, of the feature you want to check out i don't want to select anything i don't know if this is required but let's go with none de development preview this is the address not my current address so if you send anything here this is not going to be me so and here is the purpose i'm just playing around or testing theme or app so let's save it it will take a few seconds i'm not going to update the password because it will update my partner password i know which password i use it will take a few seconds to create the development store for you so yeah it is success let's see if it redirects us to the story one and throughout the course we are going to use uh, the shopify dev uh, documentation extensively the reason for that is because i want to show you how to navigate around this is the confusing part the documentation is not really like a step-by-step -step guide all you have to do is like you have to play a lot with the documentation and you have to find where things are that's why i want to show you around and how you can navigate find things that way you will be uh, more experienced once you finish the course so this is my development store uh, just the basic here is where you see the order product customer analytics apps discount and this is where we uh, focus a lot in the theme section and on online store you can see there is one theme called down which is already here this is the store 2.0 theme that shopify created there is a lot of things we will change in this theme we can like this is the starter theme shopify also says if you check out the documentation they tell you that you can start using the down building your own team in here this is what what we will do but i promise i'm going to write 50 percent not like 40 percent less code than down 
and it's still our team will function the same as down team because I have checked down there is a lot of code which is extra even JavaScript CSS all of them I will I'm going to remove the extra code for you I'm going to like recreate that and you will notice how much code we can like save we can we do need a lot of it but uh, beyond that it is also about maintaining the team when you build the team in the future your client want to maintain it like some other developer is working on that that is also the important thing a lot of people don't care about that part they just create the team and say okay it is working fine nobody is going to extend it in the future the extending or adding more feature is more important because in the future um, someone is going to work on that I want that part to be very easy for you that's why the team is open source if you build it for your client it will be much easy to to just copy a feature and put it in another team with zero configuration so that is what I will do in this video but here you can preview you can duplicate your team and you can preview your duplicated team you can download it you can edit the code uh, the code editor online is not the best but it is really good and you can edit the language rename the team if you would like to but for now let's check out our store in here and this is our store with no product these are just a placeholder there is no product if I go to the products you can see there is no product and in the next video we will start um, configuring our team and I'll show you what tool we can use to configure our team there is like which routes we have to go and there is CLI team kit and we will discuss more about that in the next video I hope this video has been informative thank you for watching I will see you in the next video